a Nord and a cat adventuring and fighting together. Who would have thought Forget it? Forget wine, women, and wealth. Give me a calm sea and a good book, and I'm happy. Well, welcome back to Skyrim and the very chatty people of the Winking Skeever. A lot of people in here. Business is good tonight. Look at all the tables filled. We're sitting here with Inigo. We got to know him a bit better this in the last episode. And uh, learned a little bit about his brother. My brother. brother. I could eat everything on the menu in a place like this. I failed. And my understanding is that uh, now that we have talked to Inigo about his brother, there should be a quest that will pop up here at some point. Uh, but uh, let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> how do I get out of this place? The winking Skeever. Can we get out this way? Yeah, let's go back out to Solitude. So, thank you guys so much for your comments from the last episode. I was, um, well, surprised at the comments. I thought that, um, I, I don't know, we spent a lot of time doing inventory in the last episode. Not a whole lot of story stuff happened in the last episode, so I wasn't sure how it would, it would be received. But uh, you guys seem to enjoy it and had a lot of suggestions for things I could try out. Uh, I think one of you was talking about... Uh, the speech tree and there being a perk where uh, I could sell to anyone and I have that perk I believe so let me get over here to speech looks like I went the wrong way our speech is up to 88 uh, so yeah there's a perk there it is can, can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant so I have that perk right there but you also said that there was another okay here we go can invest 500 gold with a shopkeeper to increase his available gold permanently. So that seems pretty interesting right there. Uh, I can get this right now and I have a perk to increase, so I don't know. Let's get it. Okay. And then there's one called Fence Up Here. Can barter stolen goods with any merchant you have invested in. And then it uh, looks like there's a Master Trader up here. Every merchant in the world gains 1,000 gold for bartering. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, when you think about all the merchants that are, you know, in the little stalls, in the little marketplaces in the city, a lot of those people just have, like, 50 coin or something. So if everybody had 1,000, that would certainly help. So, yeah, uh, a couple of you said that I don't need a perk to address my inventory woes. And it uh, looks like you're more correct, as you always are. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so, who is the shopkeeper that I want to invest 500 gold with? Now, that's the question. Whose gold do I want to increase permanently? I don't really know what this means, though. Increase his available gold permanently. Increase it to what? And, I mean, what does that mean, increase his available gold permanently? I mean, I could just sell him anything? I mean, does he have infinity gold? I don't know. I'm considering, um... Oh gosh, it is still raining, isn't it? A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. Yeah, um... Somebody else mentioned that perhaps uh, my game is bugged because I did that storm uh, shout a while back. And uh, ever since I've done that, it seems to be... Uh, raining constantly. And uh, maybe we try clear skies here. Let's try clear skies and see if that clears everything up. Let's try it. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, I still hear the rain. Okay, it's dying down a little bit. There's a hawk. Somebody told me that I could hop on a hawk and ride it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen one close enough to me to try that on. Ah, it's nice and quiet out here now. So who do I invest in? I'm, I'm considering investing in someone here in Solitude because I've kind of made this my home base. Even though it's not really the most convenient base. And what I mean by that is that Proud Spire Manor isn't like right by the front door. I remember a cut purse trying to rob me on the road once. Yeah? When I drew Grim Sever, I think the poor man soiled his armor. <laughs> uh, I think we left Inigo back at the Winking Skeever. We'll go get him. Um, so yeah... Uh, there are other cities where our house is right inside the door, like Breezeholm in uh, Whiterun. And Whiterun is also kind of nice because right when you step inside the hey gates, God, uh, you've got that smith there. And there's actually two people there that sell stuff off. 
but I've decided that Proudspire is my home base, man. Um, that's where I'm dumping everything. Proudspire is big. Uh, I have more stuff here, like the alchemy table and the enchanting table. Uh, one thing I wish I had here was a um, the smithing stuff. You know, like the uh, the f the forge and uh, the grindstone and the workbench. I kind of I wish I had those here, and maybe I do, and I just haven't never noticed it before. So I don't know, man. Who who do we who do we make our base merchant? Uh, I'm considering. This uh, smith up here. Isn't the slayer of the Glenmoral witches. How can I assist you, companion? That's what I'm considering. But I'm also this is dumb. But I'm self-conscious that I'm going to pick somebody, and you guys are going to be like, "Why did you pick that person? You should have chosen this person." And I'm sure that I'll probably get that anyway, and that's fine, you know. But you know, it's like. Um, you choose somebody, and that's that's it. You've chosen them. Oh man, is it nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. He's gonna be closed. Shoot. So which are you? We need to go back and get Inigo. So let's go back and get him. And we still need to decide what we're gonna do next. Uh, inventory. Uh, I've been asked why I don't give my companions better stuff. Warm food, warm drinks. My followers, I should say, to be more precise. Um. Well, because. I mean, am I expected to keep a full stock of every suit of armor and every type of weapon somewhere so that I could go and get it when I travel with somebody who uses that type of armor and that type of weapon? Is is that what I'm supposed to do? How am I supposed to keep track of where all that stuff is? I don't know. Sounds very complicated to me. Uh, Inigo, where are you? Wasn't he sitting here? Um, where is... Where is it? We were sitting here, weren't we? I once captained a ship called the Argent Raptor. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were sitting right there. Okay. Being friends with the bartender Where the heck is Inigo? Huh? Well, there's one way we could find out. We could go into our quest list and we could say, Hey, Inigo, where are you, dude? Inigo is... Here. Some... What is he, sleeping? What is... Where is this guy? Oh, hold on, and I want to turn off this custom marker. All right, so any go. People say Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in Tamriel. I think they're wrong. Uh, it's magnificent, it and I'm proud to call it home. Slow, but looking good, sir. Um. Oh, he's walking. He's on the move. He's on the move. You saw him, right? <laughs> He's upstairs. What are you doing, Inigo? Why are you upstairs, man? What are you doing? Why are you here? Greetings. Uh, follow me? Sorry, legs. Breaks over. <laughs> Sorry, legs. Breaks over. Here's a book. Charwitch Coning Letters, Volume 1. Um, do I have these Charwitch Coning Letters? Oh my gosh, this this thing that I use to keep my notes in, I just despise it. This little laptop. Uh, Charwitch... I don't even see that in my notes. Oh, I, okay, here it is. I have Volume 2. I don't have Volume 1, but I don't want to steal their book either. Okay. Wish I could learn. I, I, I want to get out of here. These guys talking all the time distract me. You'd make a better Imperial Ranger than me. I may have charmed the locals, but my fellow soldiers hated my wagging tongue. My wagging tongue. Okay. Back outside. Oh, a special thank you to I think I think it was Mark who left this amazing book <laughs> this novel on how to uh how i could better become a uh, fighter uh i'm gonna spend some time looking at that and um kind of taking it to heart um so that i can add it to my uh, my play 
Uh, but um, it's a long comment and there's a lot in there. And I got a lot of comments on this episode, so uh, there's a lot of stuff in my brain right now. But I am definitely going to read it and uh, I'm sure follow your advice. But you won't see me following it in this episode, most probably. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Thank you so much for that, that great comment. It's awesome. Uh, so we could turn off the Inigo thing here. And um, yeah, uh, we need to find something to do. Um, but one thing we can do while we're here is we could run back over to um, Proud Spire Manor. And we can see if we have anything that we can give to Mjol while she's traveling with us. Uh, I probably, since I'm a two-handed heavy armor type, uh, and she is too, I think, uh, I may have something in here that we could give to her. Okay, let's hop over here to our barrel, and um, what is she carrying right now? I'm itching for a fight. Okay, yeah, me too. Let's get out of here. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. So right now, we really haven't given her anything to wear. She's wearing the base stuff, whatever it is she wears. She is wearing this necklace of disease immunity, though, which I don't know where she got that from. I probably handed it to her to carry. Uh, she does have an exquisite elven bow, um, which I'm sure I gave to her. Uh, and she's got Grim Sever, so she's good in the weapon department. Uh, maybe we have some good armor we can give All to her. Set. Let's go. Problem is, is that I don't remember where I've been dumping armor. I have some in here. Heavy armor. Well, we have this ebony armor of invigoration. Ooh, that might be good to give to her, right? Get her stamina to increase or regenerate faster. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we could give her these two-handed gauntlets here. And, um, let's see, what else? Something for her feet. Looks like, as far as feet go, I've got these steel plate boots of major stamina. And these Dawn Guard heavy boots. These are better. And, um, a helmet. We've got Rogat. Increases her stamina. I kind of hate to give her a helmet. Let's not give her a helmet. She'll be fine. I'm gonna see her face. I've never been a sellsword. Uh -huh. Never traded my skills for pay. Yeah. I've always adventured on my own terms. Cool. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. Well, carry this. Tell me what you think. Do you like the ebony armor of invigoration? You do. It looks good on you too. Do you like these ebony two-handed gauntlets? Yeah, you know, I, I asked in the last episode, I was like, how are you supposed to know what your followers prefer? And yeah, somebody left a comment, and you're exactly right. You just give them stuff and see what sticks. <laughs> but somebody did tell me that she is uh, heavy armor, two-handed, just like I am. We'll give her these steel plate boots, watch her feet. And uh, I decided not to give her something to put on her head. Uh, she has this ring of conjuration. Ring of made it see. She she doesn't need either one of these. Why does... Oh, this is my stuff. <laughs> I'm such a doof. Um, do I have anything that I could give to her that maybe will help her as we travel? Uh, a ring or a necklace that we could give to her? Let's see. That is in here. I have 16 amulets of Stendar. <laughs> um... Let's see here. What can I give to her that will help her out? She doesn't cast spells. Um, haggling, no. Sure grip. Two, there we go. We'll give her this necklace. Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. And then, uh, as far as a ring... Uh, yeah, increases heavy armor skill by 25 points. We have some pretty good stuff in here, I feel like. Let me know what you guys think. Is this good, what I'm doing here? How am I doing? Okay, so we're going to give her no the problem. stuff. I can carry a good bit of gear. And let's see what she puts on. Is she smart enough to put on the good stuff? Let us give her the necklace of minor sure grip. 
and the ring of uh, the peerless knight. And then if we look at her, she's wearing the necklace of minor sure grip. She's not wearing the ring of the peerless knight, though. Oh, I just took it back. <laughs> huh. Heavy armor skill. I wonder why she's not wearing that. She's not... She's not wearing a ring. I'm going to take this gold ring back. I'm going to take this necklace back. I'm going to take this ring back. Huh. Well, if you can if you can come up with a reason why you think she's not wearing this, by all means, let me know. She's not going to use this shield either. Um. Yeah, why didn't she put that on? Tell me, oh wise viewer. I know you know the reason. All set. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Just remember. Just, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we're going to just dump this stuff off in here that I just picked up from her. And one day, maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Stick around to find out. I'm going to keep my necklace of destruction in case I want to switch back to destruction. At some point, it could happen. Okay. Alright, my carry weight's down to 237. I really would like for it to be lower than that. I'm kind of curious as to why it's not lower than that. Some of the stuff I want to keep to give to somebody. Right? These things, I think. Probably do have a lot of books that I need to get rid of also. And then this stuff. I mean, I'm carrying this stupid keg. Who? Oh, man. Where do I take this keg? I don't remember. I could dump those back in there. And, um... Okay. Where do I take this keg? I don't remember. Maybe we could do that and we could free up 20 pounds of weight. Um, deliver me to Wilhelm or show me to Ender. Let's just, let's just go to Windhelm and do this. What do you say? Let's just do this. All right, let's get out of here. And uh, we'll fast travel over to Windhelm. And we'll just pass some time also, and we'll see if we don't get that quest from Inigo while we're passing time. I am time. in your way. I am sorry. I am sorry. Okay, so we're going to just scooch on over to uh, Windhelm here. And don't worry, there will be more uh, traveling by foot and by carriage, but uh, this is hardly a epic journey or epic quest we're just gonna zip over here and get rid of, get this thing out of my inventory and and i'm gonna i'm gonna test something because i get i feel like i get conflicting advice sometimes and one of them is about quest items and whether they weigh anything or not and right here this is a quest item but it, it does show a weight a lot of quest items don't show a weight right down here so i'm like does this actually add to my carry weight or not so well, we're going to give this to the person and we're going to see if my carry weight goes down um why is it sending me outside oh what's going on here is that the only quest i have selected it is Okay, maybe it's maybe I'm delivering it to somebody outside of Windhelm. They're not actually in Windhelm, maybe. Let's see. Oh no! Wow. So uh, you're now looking at my desktop. Isn't that exciting? Uh, my game has crashed. Huh. Well, that's um. That is unusual. That is not something that happens ever. When does Skyrim crash? I, mean, I guess I've hit it crash a couple of times as I've played. Um, but uh, wow, that is um, disappointing. It's also kind of scary because I just updated my graphics drivers because I played um, Far Cry 6 for the Sunday Sampler yesterday. And... Uh, I mean, is it possible that the... Because I always wonder about that. You know, the, the, whenever, like, not always, but when, a lot of times when a new game comes out, NVIDIA will make new drivers for it, right? Um, and I, I'm always like, okay, they're they're 
tuning, I'm assuming they're tuning their graphics drivers to work with this new game, but what does that do to older games? Does that maybe introduce a problem, maybe? I don't know. Gosh, we're all the way back here. Really? That's strange. Huh. I find that odd. Doesn't the game normally save when you travel someplace new? Uh, let's travel to the stables. We'll see if this works. <laughs> Trying to think now if there's anything on my desktop that I didn't want you to see. <laughs> oh, it's a snowing like crazy. Okay, so now... Do I have this... Okay, good, we still have this... And... What? Wait a minute, why are there... Oh, okay, there... Oh, shoot. Duh, there are two options. One of them is to turn the guy in. They're both in that direction. What's going on here? Where are the markers? One of them's here. Showed the mead to Ender, and the other one... Where's the other marker? Um, huh. Do I just need to randomly walk around? I love the cold there. Windhelm? It's exhilarating. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. You know, Mjol, I agree with you. I don't have Nord blood, but yeah, I mean, there is. I, I love this. I would love to be outside in this by choice, not like working in it or, you know. Like if my job was outside, of, that would be no fun. But just to, like, go out, because it's so bracing, you know, and it's, plus it's beautiful. It's exciting. So I, I'm with him, y'all. I'm with you. Okay, so who, who am I... Who am I giving this keg to? There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Um, of course, we arrive here very early in the morning... And of course, I don't remember what that dude told me in, in Riften. I, I don't remember where I'm supposed to deliver this thing. Take a seat and get the cold And I'm really annoyed that the game isn't telling me that marker is for the other thing, you know, um, where we could uh, show the mead to Ender, and that's why that marker is telling me to go outside. So who am I delivering this to? I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. That sounds good, actually. Are you joking? <laughs> you just rented a room from me. <laughs> I just rented Enjoy a room from her. And don't break nothing. Okay, well, let's just sleep for a couple hours until places open up. <laughs> okay, I just rented a room from her. That's funny. I remember a cut purse trying to rob Captain, me on the road. Have once. you heard these when stories I drew of Grim dragons? Savage? Oh my gosh, everybody talk at once. You know better than to believe every idiot traveler that wanders through. But they're saying that one of them freed Ulfric. That He's in league with the dragons. He kind of, A dragon kind of did free Ulfric, right? Man, what am I supposed to do with this I freaking mead? The city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Who... Who would want mead? Um, I'm gonna make a guess here. There is a like a tavern or bar place over here in this. Favorite the bow, eh? Is this the Gray I'm Quarter? Is that what this is called? I don't remember. Uh, there's some somebody over here. Maybe. I, I'm I'm so annoyed that it's not telling me where to go. How how am I supposed to remember this crap? I mean, am I going to have to go online to find out? Let me know if we need anything. Oh, pardon me. by the fire and I'll send someone over. What about you? I, the Great Quarter is not yeah, right. much to look at now, but it wasn't always so bad. I'm so proud of myself, I remembered something. How splendid. Another Nord. Oh, okay. Come slumming to the Great Quarter, have you? Well, he's not interested in, um, my mead. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Huh. Well, uh, crud, might man. Be poor, but is it really any better out there? Um, I uh, got something for just about everybody. Trying to think of who would Give want holler, mead on the down low. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is uh, around. I forgot to make an investment. <laughs> when I was in solitude. <laughs> I totally forgot. Hey, maybe you could train us in speech. But do I really need any more speech? I mean, I don't know if I'm really trying again. to get. 
any further in speech now. I mean, because the next thing is uh, fence, and uh, I don't think I want that, right? You know, I mean, I don't know, man. I I, uh, I don't really do stolen goods, but I mean, I guess it would be nice to have a place to sell them. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. So I don't want to train with him because I've sold off all my stuff. I don't really have anything to sell to him right now. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like. <laughs> These two can't wait to get out of here. I don't blame him. So who the heck am I supposed to set, give this mead to? I, 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 I don't know. I'm supposed to take the mead to Windhelm. Here I am. Not the little girl, is it? Mead, you want some mead? Please? You buy a flower. <laughs> that that voice actor is a real good one too. I think she does a great job. I mean, just tugs at my heartstrings. Will you buy a flower? Um, I mean, I it could be one of these merchants here in the quarter over here, the little merchant area. Maybe I don't know. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. There's no glory. They call me a war. I mean, do I have to go around and, like, Captain talk to Captain everyone? To Just a soldier who didn't want to die. Matt, I'm glad you, you need anything, just come just see me. I'm as resourceful as I am to see you. To see you as well. I mean, surely it's not going to be in here. Got something for just about it did say Windhelm, right? Give a holler if you have any questions. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Mm-hmm. Um Deliver Mead to Wilhelm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not in Wilhelm, I'm in Windhelm. I'm gonna delete this freaking episode. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who the hell is Wilhelm? I'm gonna guess Wilhelm is in Riften. We we need to complete this, man. This is ridiculous. Oh no no, he's over here. He's in Iverstead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, um, I'm gonna to have to name this episode. Fruits and vegetables, all right. Windhelm versus Wilhelm or something, so that you guys know that I eventually figure it out. You know, so like you're not yelling at me the whole first half of this episode. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> They're very close in name. Give me a break. <laughs> Wilhelm, Windhelm, whatever. Well, Fergus, Fargus, whatever. If there's anything I can get you, just okay. let me know. So once again, we're looking at our carry weight. It's 233. We know that this thing weighs 20. When we give this to him, will we go down to 213? Let's see. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Um, May yeah, God go for watch it. over your battles, friend. Hey, dude. Now that our ghost has been unmasked, I hope we see more visitors in town than just the occasional pilgrim. Yeah. Hey, man, I have a delivery from Romlin. All right, pipe down. <laughs> you want the whole blessed place to hear you? There's nobody here, dude. The arrangement called for a trade. Hmm. I hope you'll find this suitable. Let's see what we get. A gold ring. That's it. A gold ring. Well, great. The ring has some weight. <laughs> but not, it doesn't weigh 20. Okay, let's see. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Of stolen mead? Nah, okay. So there you go. Huh, and apparently that ring didn't weigh anything either. Uh, we're still at 233, so even though weight is shown here, uh, it does not go towards carry weight. I was hoping it did, because I was really, the, one of the main reasons I did that was to free up 20, you know, 20 carry weight. Let's put on our amulet of Mara. See what happens. An amulet of Mara? You're not married? <laughs> Surprising. So you're interested in me, are you? I am. <laughs> I'd be glad to stand by your side until the divines take us. Uh, if you'll have me. Oh, uh, sorry, not interested. Psych. I see. Uh, but you, on the other hand... If you fancy a bit oh. of music, let me know. She's she's not a possibility. <laughs> this stupid amulet. A journey, my lord. 
So is it just um Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. I don't know, I wonder how it decides who you can um marry. You know? I don't But it's not the fetching lass who plays the loot in Vilemir in Vilemir? Villemir? Well, now we're way up here in frickin' Iverstead, and I don't think that there's any reason, f other other reason for us to be here, right? I don't think there's any other quests that... Come on, quest list, but come up. I don't think that there's anything anything else here that we need to do, so I'm going to play this little game right here where, um... I don't know. We just do this. this is, maybe it doesn't matter. But I like to do this every once in a while just to see what's on the map. Okay. Look at the map. Well, this says there is something here in Iverstead, and it is... Ooh, retrieve Wylandria's spoon. Wow, I'm really glad I did that. Right? Oh, and then over here we could bring the Jazz Bay over to Serethi, and then down here... Oh, that's a big quest right there where we regain the rift. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so... Uh, retrieve the spoon. Bring the jazz bay. Will I remember that? Turn all these off. Look at the miscellaneous. Okay, we're going to leave that one turned on. We're going to leave this one turned on. So they're kind of in the same area. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, this is great. This is great. Uh, which one is this, the spoon one? Okay. The one where we're going to go in somewhere, apparently. We're going to go in building over here. Oh, in here in this house. Oh my. Can we get in here? Don't think you can barter with me like ah, one crap. Of damn shopkeepers. It's locked. Shoot. Um and there's nobody in there cuz the people who live there are over here. So, um hmm. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. It's a fine huh. day. Okay, well they have now. nothing to say to me. Uh, crap, man. I need to get into this building. It's 1.40 p.m. Um, I mean, I could wait till nighttime and um, then knock on the door. So, But I mean, if I didn't have that mod where it lets you knock on the door, how would I do this? Because their door's locked right now. I don't want to just go in there and steal something. Especially when you got guards walking back and forth here. Hmm. Huh. Well, um... So I feel like there's... As, as many hours as I put into this game, there's still some... <laughs> the chicken there. There's still some unanswered questions. Am I supposed to be impressed? And we, we answered one of them just a moment ago with the weight of that I quest love item. The cold air. It's exhilarating. It is exhilarating. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. So, I'm considering waiting. Something I don't normally do. It's not realistic at all. But uh, I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Let's see. That'll get me to 459. Let's see what happens if we just stand here and wait outside. I want to see if there's a period of time where they're in their house... Uh, but they're not asleep. Okay, they're all standing there. Okay. Come on, walk over here to your house. I'm hoping that's where they're going. Nah, he got back to work on the grindstone. I remember a cut first, trying to run okay, I'm hoping that she's going to go into her house I right now. And unlock the door, and maybe we'll be able to get in then. Yeah, go in the house. Yes, Boti. Go in the house. Yes, good Boti. Yes. Okay, she's in. Does she unlock the door? She does! Yes! Awesome! Okay, standing outside and being patient for three hours. Paid off! 
Hey! She's, she's giving me the stink eye, man. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Search Wylandria's satchel. Is this gonna be stealing? Apparently not. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing with Wylandria's spoon anyway? Huh? Boy, she looks angry. She actually looks like she's, like, seething. Yeah, that's right. I caught ya. I caught ya. Red-handed. Okay, cool. Boy, I'm just having all kinds of fun. I mean, the fun is understanding the game. That's the fun. Okay, so I'm going to take off one of those quests now because it's pointing me back to Riften. So now, let's just take a little walk over here. And uh, we're going to bring this Jazz Bay over here to this person. We need to get out of this town. Ah, the problem is, man, I, I hope I have enough Jazz Bay. You guys are yelling at me again, I'm sure. You need 20 Jazz Bay, not 10. No, I think I need 10. So let's go for a little walk. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's great. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit trade. <sighs> Be careful what you wish for, lady. Ooh. Oh, but I think it's a bear. Let's put him to sleep. Oh, sounds like a sneeze. Okay, so where are we going here? We're going to follow this road. Okay, so oh, I think there's a road that'll end up going this way, right? I think. Pretty sure there is. So let's just follow the road. Make sure both of my followers are here with me. Ah, oh, crap. Mjol, where are you? Here she comes. I have to think that we are a force to be reckoned with right now. With Mjol and Inigo traveling with me. You don't want to mess with us, man. You do not want to mess with us. You will regret it. I'm just telling you right now, in advance. Bandits and highwaymen and... Whatever else attacks us on the roads out here. Sorcerer's apprentices. Oh. Oh, ooh, a bandit marauder. And who's he fighting? Close. Two bandit marauders? Oh, it's Farkas. Must have scared him off. What are you? What are you doing out here? An amulet of Mara. You're looking for marriage, then? <laughs> oh, are you interested in me, Farkas? Won't lie, I am. And you? Uh, I'm not. Sorry. Tease. Your choice. My friend, I feel uh -oh. strange. Inigo, what's wrong, buddy? What's next? He feels strange. Why do you feel strange, my friend? This person is busy, it says. Huh, he's busy. He said he feels strange. Huh. Mjol is somebody that we can marry. Isn't this weird that we're finding these companions wandering the countryside like this? What's going on? We saw Ayala in the last episode, right? In a shop, which was odd. Huh. Why do you feel strange, Inigo? He's busy. I don't know what's up with him. Where'd this guy go that we just killed? I'm gonna loot his body. Um, here he is. Stupid bandit marauder. Whoa, he has a fair amount of gold on him. That's a lot for a bandit. Well, um, what's going on here? Bring the jazz bay. Do I have another quest? Now it's like, like my friend. Oh. I feel strange. What's wrong? Ah, my mind is vibrating in my skull. It feels like it is at the end of a hook. Are you okay, man? I do not know. Wait. The sensation is receding. That was horrible. How do you feel, man? What was that all about? I'm okay. I have no idea what it was. 
all of a sudden there was a bright flash, and it felt like my mind was being pulled out of my ears. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. If it happens again, let me know. Or quit your belly aching. It was probably just something you ate. Nah, man, that doesn't sound good. If it happens again, let me know. Do not worry about me, my friend. Let us get back to it. Huh, okay, any go. Alright. No worry about you, buddy. Hope you're okay. Whoa, what's this? Oh, a cave bear! There, nice bear. Nice, I'm petting the bear. Nice bear. Ah, okay. oh, man. <laughs> My girlfriend likes to watch videos of, like, wild animals and stuff. And she was watching this one, these ones of like grizzly bears that get real close to people. And, um, boy, they sure do look cuddly. Oh, the troll's dead. Oh, you son of a... Well, you know what that means. That means... Oh, gosh, where... Oh, we had just exited the house in Iverstead, right? Isn't that right? So that means that Inigo hasn't had his little episode yet. That means we haven't run into Fargus. Man. So this is something odd I find. Uh, on our on our compass at the top of the screen and on our map, um, this is showing up right here. Bring the Jazz Bay to Everest. So it's not the icon that means you have to go in a place. But as we get closer to it, it turns into that. Or, you know what? I bet you it's because uh, Aversa is outside right now. But as we get closer, she goes into her house and that's why it changes. Okay, I just figured it out. <sighs> Doggone it, man. It's a stupid jerk. I go in there and I help him fight that troll. And what do they do? They shock the heck out of me. I wish I could it, it's, it's, it is frustrating off, how quickly I can die. I mean, I am tricked out, man. I've got some awesome armor on. I mean, I do understand. You know, I'm wearing metallic armor and and, uh... What do you need? You seem to have attracted the attention Someone... of it. And, you know, lightning is the worst thing for it, but I still feel like I should survive longer than that. Damn. Something. Hmm. Well, shoot. Well, we're gonna have to travel again. Um... Just wait for Inigo to have his little episode, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Do you remember? I, I totally jinxed myself, didn't I? I was like, well, I have to think that walking around with Inigo and y'all, we are a force to be reckoned with. Aw, oh, man. He just took a bite out of that elk. Well, I can't kind piece him because it didn't reset yet. Maybe he's distracted by the elk. He's not. Sorry, bear. That was a nice move. <laughs> you are dead. <sighs> Doggone it. That's frustrating to die that quickly. Jinxed myself. I deserved it. I deserved it. I tempted fate. And you saw what happened. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> Boy, it is just wild animal kingdom out here. Whoa. What the hell? Is there a dragon? Or is that the bear? There's a dragon! Oh, it's just crazy out here. I just did an F5. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Ain't no dragons alive on my watch. Come here, you. The <laughs> music's all calm. La la. Are you gonna? Are you just gonna circle overhead, or are you gonna land, dude? Because I got I got stuff to do. I got places I gotta be. And Inigo's not feeling real well. Itching to hit something. Well, if that dragon would land. Today. Maybe you should take <sighs> a few deep breaths. When are we going to see some action? 
Very soon, no doubt. Until then, I think I will try to stay out of your way. That's funny. Ah, that is what funny. A woman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Got another. This, that's a little fox, isn't it? I think walking right there. out here. Oh. A Vigilant of Stendar. Why are you fighting me? This might be a problem. Cast some help here. Whoa. I think I accidentally hit my... Uh... Holy cow! <laughs> okay. Gee whiz! Okay, good job, team! Holy cow! I was thinking that was going to be a tough battle. That's why I conjured the Wrath Man, but gee whiz! Uh, another Amulet of Stendar. No wonder I have so many of those, because we keep facing these guys. I'll take another st torch. Vigilance Decree. Um... Why did these guys attack me? Somebody remind me. I don't know why they attacked me. I thought we were friends. It's weird how they all had two potions on them. Hey, uh, let's see here. Um, oh, not you, Rath. Meow. I'm itching for a fight. What we just literally just fought. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. So can two followers carry it? Oh, she already has a torch. Okay. Can two followers carry All a torch set. at the Let's same go. time? Uh huh. I think we already gave him a torch, didn't we? You give me best equipment, yes? Some pretty good stuff you're wearing there, buddy. Okay, he's got a torch too. All right, whatever. What's next? So, both of my followers already have a torch. Um. What was I going to say? Well, I was going to say I need to end this episode. I got something I got to do. So we're just going to hang out here on this bridge. Maybe we will uh, charge people uh, a toll to cross it while we hang out here. Uh, no time to read a book today. I got to get off here and do something. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Uh, when we come back, we will head on over to uh, this place and bring the Jazz Beta Evrusa. Oh, gosh. I think he's just now having his episode, isn't he? He is. My friend, I feel strange. All right, let's let's interact ah, with him real quick. My mind is vibrating in my skull. It feels like it is at the end of a hook. I, I'm sorry, dude. Are you okay? I do not know. Wait, the sensation is receding. That was horrible. <laughs> How you feel, man? I'm okay. I have no idea what it was. All of a sudden, there was a bright flash, and it felt like my mind was being pulled out of my ears. Hmm, doesn't sound good, man. Do not worry about me, my friend. Let us get back to it. Okay, so that sets us up for the next episode, most probably. Okay, like I said, gotta end this one right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.